The only way to truly work towards unity and non-discrimination is to bravely and honestly reckon with our country's complicated past and present. As I shared last week, legislation cannot and will not erase our history. The conversation about race can be very challenging and uncomfortable, but it is necessary. For this body to create legislation that imposes an alternative version to American history, one that erases the legacy of discrimination and lived experiences of black and brown people, women and girls, and LGBTQ plus individuals, it indeed is sad, but it's a sign of the times. Spending time inciting a fear-based approach to limit teachers' ability to discuss the reality of racism in the United States would limit students' engagement with history, with current events, and personal health, and as well as their social and emotional learning. Whose truth is the truth? Whose truth do we want teachers to teach? That's all to say, what exactly is the point of this bill? You say that you're concerned that your kids will go to school and learn about race and racism and then come home a racist. But what does this bill do to address, to accurately and actually address racism? This bill spends a lot of time talking about what you can't do. As a matter of fact, there's an entire list of don'ts in this bill. But there is no mention of what we should do. Where's the guidance on unity? Where's the guidance on dignity? Where's the guidance on equity? I'm grateful that you entitled this bill with a name that promotes togetherness. But nothing in this bill speaks to how do we do that. And if you genuinely believe that the solution will come by just never mentioning the word racist ever again, you're fooling yourself. I really wish fixing racism was as easy as this bill makes it out to be. But we know the truth of the matter is, it's not. This bill is paramount to a book burning in my view. A small group of enraged individuals are looking to ban an entire concept of thought because it makes them uncomfortable. The acquisition of knowledge is not a danger to our children, but the banning of these ideas for the sake of maintaining the status quo? Let's be clear. That, that will continue to endanger the lives of black and brown children across the state and across this country. So just because we pass a bill that makes it harder for teachers to talk about systematic racism does not mean that our children would not still experience that same systematic racism. Slavery and its legacy of oppression are not only a part of North Carolina's history, they are the reality and the experiences that black people are still facing today. And legislation like this only exacerbates the problem. A thought for all of us to remember. When you're accustomed to privilege, Equality feels like oppression.